Khan just left the studio oh, dropping for real? something fire. Yeah, you gonna see Beautiful. it tomorrow? Dropping Beautiful. something fire. Oh, praise yeah, yeah, man. Soon. Within the next couple months, I'll be out there most hours. Yeah, he's still, you're still in Atlanta, right? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta, yes, sir. So, have you and Devon ever hooked up or something? Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. What's yes, up, brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. Cool. Have you and Devon ever hooked up or something? Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. What's yes, up, sir. brother. Oh, have you and Devon ever hooked up or something? Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. What's yes, up, sir. brother. Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. What's yes, up, sir. brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. Oh. Yes, brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. Oh. Yes, brother. Appreciate that. The author of Hebrews is unknown. This for starters, so we we can't actually. Look, 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 look. You see, you see, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. You see, he's all wasn't ready. We have to go with what came out of the man's mouth or what came out of God's mouth versus a writing that we don't even know who to attribute with, whose authorship is disputed. Because divine prospect has brought this out a lot, and in truth, he may not have said it on Sunday's platform though. But in truth, we when we heard Divine say stuff like this, we was me and Deacon was acting exactly like how Sunday is acting right now. Wait, huh? What man? That nigga's tripping. I don't know what bro talking about. I remember having a conversation with Captain Zarya about Divine saying some stuff like that, and us not agreeing with it. But through growth, through analysis of scripture and analysis of textual criticism and history, and understanding what's what and understanding the scriptures, tell me what's authoritative. I can conclude nothing else. He just, the most I have showed him, our brother Divine Prospect that before he showed some other of us. And maybe he showed brothers before Divine that. But it's sound and it's right and exact. Is Yahawashai talking in the book of Hebrews? Like they don't really have to go by Hebrews now, according to you. No, they need to go by, but but you don't have to. Like they don't really have to go by Hebrews now, according to you. No, they need to go by, but but you don't have to. Like they don't really have to go by Hebrews now, according to you. No, they need to go by, but but you don't have to. This is what the scripture is talking about: kings and priests. Because we are a nation of kings and priests, and y'all just don't see it because the spirit of Yahweh shine is the spirit of prophecy, and only no. he can give you this no. understanding. We don't have the spirit, which is great. We don't have the spirit, which is great. We don't have the spirit, which is great. The Levitical priesthood is a carnal thing that has carnal functions in a temple that you have to do these things, not spiritual and symbolic, like in the Melchizedek priesthood. I'm not saying that everything you're saying is just wrong or we can't learn something from you right now or we can't learn something from you right now. Divine prospect has brought this out a lot. Or we can't learn something from you right now. Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. Yes, up, brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. Yeah, yeah, that's my main man. That's my main that's man. What's yes, up, brother. Appreciate that. That's what's good. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone shalom also to you followers of the truth you few sisters you brethren and shalom to the elect anyway i want to go in this video here uh there's so much stuff on these guys it's you i can do a, a video every day for the next two weeks on the hypocrisy and the lies and the deceit in the uh, arrogance you know the pridefulness of these guys now this is a video off of one jake who debated him an israelite fellow israelite who he did go off on some things but it's titled the kingdom of israel alazar ben lawyer uh of sakari exposed as an agent of balaam right so <laughs> so anyway this guy, the uh, this group, Sakari, has managed to hijack or adopt a doctrine 
from an Old Testament Israelite who doesn't believe in Yahawashah. So apparently this guy, this divine prospect, this Jake, who says Eve can marry the so-called white man. Let me say that. I, I've seen him in a video. I've done videos on it. it. Says Eve can marry whoever she wants. All right. This is what this guy said. These guys have managed to adopt a doctrine of a non-believer. Now we see that these guys, I'm not going to say locusts, but these guys are, are agents. And they're, well, that's what I believe. You know, they've set up to come in and hijack doctrines. That's like Brother Polite. Uh, all these guys right and um, make money off of destroying the doctrine man now this guy divine prospect they're sitting there and he teaches that the book of Hebrews is not authenticated naturally he would say that because he doesn't believe in the New Testament so clearly you can see these guys are non-believers of Yahweh and I got other videos showing that they pull from Hebrews, they pull from Apostle Paul, and now we can see where they learned all of this from. Apostle Paul, the book of Hebrews, right? I don't know about Paul, but I, apparently that's where they learned it all from. This guy, Divine Prospect. Now it's time to go to some scriptures before I go back. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, they will not continue in sound doctrine. But after their own lust, right? This is what this is. This is after their own lust. Shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears? Now, when you go into the itching ears, sometimes it could literally mean an itching ear, but desirous, desiring to hear something pleasant. So, you know what's pleasant? They want to denounce the book of Hebrews, denounce even Paul, because if you don't believe what Paul says, you know, in a majority, you're denouncing him, and Paul spoke the words of Yahawashah and of the law, so you're not denouncing uh, uh, Yahawashah. So, this is pleasant to these guys. It's only a matter of time before sooner or later they more likely to throw out the whole New Testament. But they won't do it because right now because they have a following that believes that. But once they get you all hooked in, the next thing you know, you're going to follow them. Because everybody who's caught up in these gatherings and these teachings, they don't want to accept that they're wrong or their teacher is wrong. 1 Corinthians 10 to 21. It says, ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot partake be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils right so you guys are sitting there believing this guy divine prospect his doctrine of the book of Hebrews is not authenticated so you go do some research on Google or wherever you went I'm not sure I'm not going to bear false witness like you guys do but wherever you went you went to the sources and this guy divine prospect learned from a white man's college right that means you guys aren't of the Holy Spirit you're not going in the spirit you're going on what this man says the book of Hebrews is not authenticated do we provoke the Lord to jealousy with a question mark are we stronger than he as these guys man they provoking the Lord to jealousy and this is why you see the unraveling these guys got so many videos of them being exposed is un, is unimaginable by Christians by Israelites you guys aren't good debaters man you get chopped up in your words you stutter you don't have the right answers you start winging it you're saying that we got a sacrifice in the kingdom you know what why don't you guys go to Home Depot get your building materials since it's the you know it's all carnal get your building materials right and then go build the third temple man maybe that's giving you an idea you guys might do that and then have a whole bunch of sheep will flock these guys aren't in the spirit of your man you know 
And if you're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, you're not in the spirit of the head, Yahweh. It says, Amos 3 and 7, Surely the, the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but reveal of his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So let's go over there to Hebrews. What uh, said Netta tried to pull up. Believe it or not, this is titled Jesus, the great high priest. Yahweh Shah, the great high priest. See, let's say that they were true in what they said about um, there was no things in there that Yahweh Shah said these were just written things that other men wrote or other prophets wrote. At the end of the day, the Most High revealeth his secrets. So when he gives the prophecy to the, you know, to the, uh, to the prophets, they speak a prophecy. And that's what we're doing. We're speaking in the word of prophecy. We go out and teach and we prophesy. Right? Now, you have guys that say they're men of the Lord and it's coming from the Most High. And it really isn't. In, in, in today's world. So it all has to be the spirit of what's being brought out. And you got to understand, if it's in the scriptures, the Lord allowed it to be in the scriptures. Now you're picking and picking apart the Bible, man. But you want to believe a few things that it say. Hebrews 4 16, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shah, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession. So, you know, when we read things in the book of Hebrews, we still see nothing. Another part is a, a Sabbath rest of Yahweh's people. We see everything in here just dealing with the spirituality, man. But you know what these guys, these guys chose the word of a non-believer, right? They chose a non-believer, right? Who don't believe in the Most High, basically. Who claims he believe in the Son. That's, that's what you guys chose, man. Anyway, let's go on. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with the unrighteousness? That goes to the scripture. Can two, uh, Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together unless they be agreed? So if you agree with this guy, you're just as sick, right? And you're just as wicked as he is right but then you want to keep your own these are manglers that's what i keep saying they are butchers of the scriptures man for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness right so what kind of fellowship would you have with a would you believe in the, the father and the son right to a guy that doesn't believe in the father and the son who believes this man can make it and be safe so I'm going to really sit up there with GOCC and have great debates and conversations. And let's say we had a great debate. This proves the debates are full of trash, man. You start adopting what they teach in the debate. That's why I put that in the end of, this, in the, end of, the, end of the intro. He said, well, we could take, I can learn from you and take what you learn, take what you do this, do that. But the, in the meanwhile, they are complaining about what great millstone has learned or adopted or whatever so to speak right but this guy took everything from gms started the foundation and then what they did is down there is just distributing it out and just destroying it as they moving about but we're staying in sound doctrine man and what communion have light with darkness so we could clearly see if you are of the light, as they like to quote Hebrews 8 and 21. How would you have communion with darkness? Right? You're like Eve that, that, uh, um, that followed the serpent. Right? You have now adopted that little leaven that will ultimately leaven, leaven a whole lump. And this is what we see actually has happened. That proves that you guys are not of the light. Because if you were of the light, you wouldn't adopt a false doctrine, Colossians 2 and 8, right, from the darkness and make it a doctrine. This is embarrassing, right? It's, it's sad, to be honest, disturbing, and it's hypocrisy. That's all I have on that, Shalom.